Opportunity, ladies and gentlemen, to talk to you, to share with you. I say we are fighting for freedom. We are fighting for freedom. Well, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, every time something great happens to me or around me, I remember my mother. You see, 37 years ago, my mother brought me to this world. That woman called Margaret Nalunkuma St. Tamo, she struggled, struggled against all odds to raise me and my younger brothers and sisters through very many difficulties. And as I stand here before you today, ladies and gentlemen, receiving the African Freedom Award. Oh, how I miss my mama. I miss her not because she has missed the splendor and attention and honor of an occasion like this, of receiving an award like this. I miss her because everything that I am, my mama told me. And I know that she would be super proud to be with us today. Keep the music going. And yet I know that even if she's not with us here in body, keep it low. At least her spirit is with me 
and in me. You see, Mama taught me that all human beings are deserving of respect and dignity. And that has been the foundation of my fight for human rights. Seeing my mama struggling as an African woman taught me to respect women and to uphold their dignity. Po, 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 po. Growing up in the ghettos of Kamocha in Kampala and seeing my mama struggle every day and night to bring food to the table without having to compromise her dignity. Now that one taught me the value of hard work. And seeing my mama push back against the bullies and all the powerful land grabbers, that instilled in me the spirit of resistance against any kind of injustice. My mama was a health worker, a midwife, and my brother Banjo, you remember every once in a while, she would send me to buy another candle after the one she had been using was burning down, or to buy another pair of gloves as she was struggling to help women give birth. That was my mama. She knew she deserved better as a health worker, and she knew that her patients deserved better too. And in many ways, that influences my inner, inner fight against those that steal the funds that are supposed to improve our healthcare system. Those that build mansions in the money that's supposed to fund hospitals and to buy drugs. Ladies and gentlemen, that is why I wanted to use this amazing platform to, among very many things, pay tribute to that great, great woman. The woman in whose shadow I live today. We are fighting for freedom. I say we are fighting for freedom. Ladies and gentlemen, I am super, super humbled by this recognition because this is a reformation. It affirms further that indeed our struggle for freedom and democracy is not an empty struggle. It is not in vain. And although this award comes in my name, ladies and gentlemen, realistically, this award is not for me. This award is for the people of Uganda who are fighting every day and night. And I will say it again, that this award is for the people of Uganda that fight every day and night to break free from the yoke of oppression that they've endured for decades. We are fighting for freedom. We are fighting for freedom. I said, we are fighting for freedom. Friends, Uganda, since independence, has never seen a peaceful transition of power from one leader to another. We are living under a military dictatorship of 34 years. I said we are living under a military dictatorship for 34 years. General Yoweri Museveni has misruled our country through the barrel of the gun, and the people of Uganda are saying, enough. We are fighting for freedom. I say the people of Uganda are saying, enough. enough. We are fighting for freedom. Sing that one more time. I say, we are fighting for freedom. Yes, yes. these 
are the people to whom this award belongs. This award belongs to Sam Mugumia, a political activist who is still under detention in the Democratic Republic of Congo since 2014. This award belongs to Dr. Stella Nyanzi, a university professor. I say it again that this award belongs to Dr. Stella Nyanzi, a university professor in Uganda's most respectable university, who is serving 18 months in prison for writing a poem criticizing the president. We are this award. Sing that. We are fighting for freedom. This award, brothers and sisters, belongs to my fellow artist, Ziggy Wine, and another fellow artist called as Sweet Pips. These artists were tortured, and they died having been tortured by those people that we pay to protect us. This award, this award, this award goes to Yasin Kauma. We are fighting for freedom. I say we are fighting for freedom. We are fighting for freedom. This award goes to Yasin Kauma. My driver who was shot dead. The man who took a bullet, which was supposed to be my bullet, last year in an assassination attempt. This award belongs to the countless Ugandans who have been kidnapped, arrested, tortured, and even killed. The women who are seldom raped to indignify them and to break their spirit of fighting against the dictatorship. We are fighting for freedom. I say we are fighting for freedom. See, these are the true heroes. The citizens of Uganda that push back every day and every night the Muslim citizens of Uganda. I say the Muslim citizens of my country that live under fear and intimidation every day just because they are Muslims. We are fighting for freedom. We are fighting for freedom. I say we are fighting for freedom. Ladies and gentlemen, let me also voice out my appreciation to the Friedrich Norman Foundation. Let me say it again. My heartfelt appreciation goes to the Friedrich Norman Foundation for freedom. Now you guys are amazing. Thank you for raising the banner of freedom and democracy in our time. We don't take that for granted, and we owe it to you. We are fighting for freedom. We are fighting for freedom. And ladies and gentlemen, I know that even right here where we stand in this very room, we have so many freedom fighters and activists from around the world. I can only salute you guys for pushing forward the struggle for freedom all over the world. I know that it's not easy and it will not be easy. But you see, even on my side, many people find me every day and they ask me whether I am not scared of standing up against a powerful dictator like General Museveni. My family 
lives in fear every day. Fearing for the worst. Wondering what tomorrow is going to bring. But I've said it time and again. That it's not easy and it shall not be easy to fight for freedom. But again, I must tell you friends. That the fight for freedom is worth every effort. Kumanga, we are fighting for freedom. We are fighting for freedom. Keep the fight going. Yes, the fight for freedom is worth every effort. It is worth the pain of losing comrades. It is worth the pain of torture. It is worth even physical death. Because as I grow up, I've, become to, I've come to believe that the only time a man is supposed to fight is when he's fighting for his dignity as a human being. And like Nelson Mandela told us, that there is no easy walk to freedom anywhere. And many of us will have to pass through the valley of the shadow of death time and time and time again before we reach the promised land. We Therefore, for freedom. strong comrades, courage, friends, because we know the truth is on our side and God is on our side. We are fighting for freedom. Oh, I never boy. We are fighting for freedom. Oh, I never nag. We are fighting for freedom. To everybody that is fighting for freedom, never, ever, ever give up. Because freedom is worth fighting for. And yes, freedom is worth dying for. We are fighting for freedom. We are fighting for freedom. Sing along, my brother Nubia. We are fighting for freedom. The mood of a boy, the mood of a boy. We are fighting for freedom. That is what freedom means to us. But what does it mean to you? Freedom means that all persons are equal before and under the law, and they all deserve dignity and rights. Freedom means that all citizens can freely express themselves peacefully protest and yes they can petition freedom means that citizens are not supposed to live under fear for the repercussions of expressing themselves and freedom means that freedom, citizens can freely assemble we are fighting for freedom freedom means that power belongs to the people and that power will be used for the benefit of the people. Freedom means that men and women are equal. Let me say that again. I said freedom means that men and women are equal. And boys, I mean girls and women, have the same opportunities as boys and men. I say we are fighting for freedom. Oh, I never go. We are fighting for freedom. Freedom means big institutions are not big men. It means powerful ideas are not powerful weapons. And freedom means raising people power above gun power. We are fighting for freedom. We are fighting for freedom. And this, this one here is very important. To me personally, and to every artist in Africa and all over the world, freedom means that artists whose works are critical to the government have the same rights and opportunities as those whose works are in support of the government. That is freedom. Freedom means that our soldiers and police officers are not given orders to brutalize their people 
in order to preserve a dictatorship and to keep despots in power. The Mucha Baboy, Molaneva Boy, they are fighting for freedom. The Mucha Baboy, Molaneva, if we are fighting for freedom. Yes. Freedom means that leaders are genuinely working to stop corruption and not enhancing it. Freedom means that leaders are working to end wars and not fueling them in order to benefit from them. Freedom means that we say what we mean and we mean what we say. We don't massage corruption, we stop corruption and we instill the value of hard work in the population. We are fighting for freedom. I said we are fighting for freedom. We are fighting for freedom. Freedom means that the young people of Africa are not excluded in the governance of their countries. I said freedom means that the young people of Africa are not excluded from participating in the governance of their countries by the old leaders and the old systems. And friends, in a nutshell, freedom means freedom from oppression, freedom from suppression, and freedom from exploitation. Yaga, 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 yeah. We've said it many times and we shall say it one more time. That we shall stop at nothing until this freedom is won. And if we not be there, those who come after us should and must continue this fight. Because friends, freedom is worth fighting for. And if need be, freedom is worth dying for. We are fighting for freedom. We are fighting for freedom. You see what happens in Uganda and many other countries all over the world. We are living in a time similar to the one of slave trade. This oppression is worse than apartheid. apartheid. The gun is the must and the citizen is slave. slave. The pearl of Africa is bleeding. Me question, question, what was the purpose of the liberation, liberation when we can't have a peaceful transition? transition. What is the purpose of the constitution, constitution. when the government disrespect the constitution. constitution? Where is my freedom of expression constitution. when you charge me because of my expression? expression. See what you're doing to our nation. Constitution. What are you teaching the future generation. generation. See, our leaders become misleaders and see, our mentors become tormentors. tormentors. Freedom fighters become dictators. Yaga, yaga, yo. We are fighting for freedom. One more time. We are fighting for freedom. Freedom! Freedom comes to those who fight right. for it, not to those who cry. Because the more you cry, cry. the more your people will continue to die. die. So rise! I said rise. rise! I said rise! Rise! And defend your rights. Yeah, man. And for those, the rights of those who cannot defend themselves. 